Welcome to the North Suburban Beat. With Steve Hahn, I'm Hillary Neary. Thank you for joining us. An established business that's new to our area, Eckroth Music, describes themselves with words like service and integrity. My name is Scotty Devlin. I work for Eckroth Music here. Uh, we just moved to the Roseville area. Um, that has come basically from our two stores, St. Louis Park and our, our White Bear Lake store. Our store from 35W, which is, which is very easy to tell uh, our, our customers how they get here. With stores in Montana, North Dakota, and St. Cloud, Minnesota, Eckroth has a good feel for regional needs in the music scene. Reduce salt use this winter for healthier lakes and river all year round. Just like hats and gloves, snow and ice are part of Minnesota winters. How we control snow and ice on driveways, sidewalks, parking lots, and roads affects water quality in rivers and lakes. If you're looking for a used car, Hurricane Sandy and other large disasters have allowed unscrupulous sellers to unload damaged cars. The National Insurance Crime Bureau suggests car buyers inspect vehicles for signs of flood damage. In addition to the obvious smell of musty or moldy odor, look under carpet in the trunk and under the seats. Evidence of dampness, rust, mud, or silt may indicate flooding. Inspect door speakers, windshield wipers, radio, air conditioner, and other electronics. They often won't work if there has been water damage. Beware of new or mismatched items in an older car, including new electrical components. Seats or carpeting that doesn't match the interior. Check for rust on the screws in the console or areas where water normally doesn't reach. See if there is any obvious paint overspray indicating recent body damage. Check seatbelt retractors by pulling the seatbelt all the way out and inspect for moisture, mildew, and grime. We are hoping you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Lots of people were treated to Valentine's wishes with a song. Heart of my heart, I love you. I love you. Darling, I love you. Well, Hillary, I can't think of a better way to raise money than doing something like that. Yeah, absolutely. The people seem to love it, and I wish I could harmonize like that. <laughs> Me too. Community Partners with Youth and is hosting its second annual benefit luncheon event on Tuesday, March 12th. This is a great opportunity to invite your friends, coworkers, and neighbors to come and hear more about CPY. Well, Hillary, here's an inspiring story. The Irondale girls hockey team might be some of the most entertaining local sports this year, but they make it even more fun by adding lots of suspense. While seated number six in their section, they attacked the finals with a winning attitude and never gave up. After upsetting number three, Blaine, they moved on to face Centennial in the second round. A big wow. check on the side. and Number 12 for Centennial up. is gonna get a penalty there for roughing. And then they faced the dreaded Moundsview Mustangs in the finals. Not only was Moundsview ranked first in section five AA, but the Mustangs were seated third in the state and expected to return to this year's state tournament. Irondale entered the third period down by one goal, but managed to tie it up. Here they are at the end of the first overtime. Now Donovan with a head, head of steam, gonna bring it in. She'll take it wide, loses the puck there. Sutton, pretty strong, and now it's four on four action as their players are, oh my goodness! Cena Hansen picks out. Cena Hansen gets a deflected yeah. puck. And both those winning goals were scored by a freshman, Cena Hansen. We look forward to an exciting state tournament. And Hillary, I play a lot of hockey, and I know that if you're rated six, then you beat the number three, two, and one seed. That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, absolutely. I was at that game, and it was very exciting that that freshman won the winning goals. Yeah, that must have been good. Shoreview Council member Terry Quigley was awarded the Paul Harris Fellowship Award from the Arden Hills Shoreview Rotary Club. He received this honor at the Northwest Youth and Family Services 2013 Service to Youth Award Annual Banquet. Lots of fun things happen here at CTV as part of our outreach to the community. And one of our favorites is when scout troops come in and learn about television. Here's a recent visit. One, two, three. North, 
Comcast is taking the final step in their digital network enhancement by converting all remaining analog channels to digital. In order to bring customers a crisp digital picture and other new features, all Comcast video services will be transmitted exclusively in digital format on or after Thursday, March 14, 2013. This means that customers will need to have a digital set-top box or digital adapter from Comcast or a third-party device with a cable card for each television on which they wish to continue receiving Comcast video services. Comcast will provide customers with digital equipment in accordance with their service tier. They will provide up to three digital adapters to its current basic tier customers at no additional cost. Comcast customers may call toll-free at 1-877-634-4434 or go, or go online to www.comcast.com slash digital now to determine the best solution for their home. Do you find yourself sitting at an intersection wondering whose turn it is to go next? Maybe you think that driver went out of turn, or you're questioning if Minnesota nice means you'll be late for work again. Knowing who has the right of way helps traffic flow smoothly and safely. The laws are based on courtesy and common sense. Violation of these laws is a leading cause of traffic crashes. Roseville Police offer these reminders regarding who has the right of way. Some of the staff here at CTV made a special trip to the Capitol on Wednesday the 13th for 2013 MACTA Day at the Capitol. The Minnesota Association of Community Telecommunications Administrators visits yearly to update our legislators on, uh, on our industry and especially to inform them about public access. We're here with Senator Bard Goodwin from District 41 uh, to talk a little bit about what's going on at the Capitol and uh, um, her involvement or experience with community television. Well, Her Hillary, that's this round of local news. Now let's take a look at the community calendar. Calling all those who love the theater. It's time for auditions. Rosetown Playhouse is doing a variety show during their fundraiser on April 7th at Hell's Kitchen in Minneapolis. Do you sing? Do you dance? How about mime? Or have a stand-up comedy routine you've been dying to try out on stage? This is your chance. Auditions are 12 to 5 p.m. on Saturday, March 2nd. Email kylehack25 at gmail.com to reserve an audition time. Kids, let's get a little muddy this spring break. Join your friends to explore what's beneath our feet. You can examine mud up close, look for worms, tap a maple tree, follow some animal tracks, and make a wet weather survival kit in this unique spring break camp. This muddy fun camp meets March 11th to March 15th and is designed for boys and girls in grades K through 5. Camp meets from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at the Harriet Alexander Nature Center, 2520 North Dale Street. Kids can sign up for three days or for the entire week with charges being discounted for Roseville residents. Call 651-792-7110 for a full schedule of events or to register. That's it for this edition of the North Suburban Beat. If you have a story idea for this program, contact us at ctvnorthsuburbs.org slash nsb, complete with all the links we mentioned in this show. With Steve Hahn, I'm Hillary Neary. Thank you for watching.